There's things that I've understood for many years and never been able to impart. So, and I have taken several of you up here. I want to take you all up tonight, too. But I want to take you farther than I have before. I want to take the kingdom and you up for one another tonight. So, the enemy's had a plug right here. It's time that that plug comes out. And if I, by the finger of God, cast Satan out, then the kingdom of God is coming. One of the words she was reading there, that's Matthew 10, 8. Heal the sick. Cleanse the leper, which is Dr. Lear. Raise the dead and kick the devil out of the church. It's not an option, it's a commandment. And this is what's getting ready to take place. We're getting ready to be obedient to what God has called us to be. So, right here, all of you want a visitation. But your daddy and your brother sat down from their labors. They're in heaven. They want you to give them a visitation. And this is one of the things I want to lead you into today. Then I've never had the ability to take people up except recently when he gave me that word about the kingdom coming. Now it's time that the kingdom comes out of you tonight for one another. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But First I want to lay scriptures. On Ephesians 2 6, it says, You're already seated with Christ in heavenly places. It's a done deal. Colossians 1 13, it's translated from this present darkness into its marvelous light. That really means raptured. That your soul would be raptured here. And uh, then Romans uh, uh, 12 2. Well, she's turning that. I want to talk to you about a butterfly because many of you have been like, your mind has been worms. I mean, the worm is your memory. Well, that worm has become a butterfly. And it's going to get ready to come here. And a butterfly has to have the sunlight before it can fly. The butterfly lives in the sun. It's time that you be a generation that lives in the sun with the sun. For what the sun does to the butterfly, it pumps the fluids into the wings and everything to where the butterfly can go and reproduce beyond imagination in one year. Okay. Romans 12, 2, and this is amplified. Do not be conformed to this world, this age fashioned after and adapted to its external, superficial customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitude, so that you may prove for yourselves what is a good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you. It's time you crawl into the light of the sun. It's time you become light. And it's time that you reproduce without numbers. So, what I usually have people to do is I have them to stand up. Not yet, I want you to understand. <laughs> I have you to stand up. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to come. I want you to put your head up and I want you to close your eyes. I don't want you to take deep breaths. The worst thing you can do is pray. You understand what you're doing if you're praying? I want this raptured. It has to come through here. And that gives the Father a visitation. Now when you get there, some of you feel winds. Uh, the angels are mostly unemployed 
they're looking for a job. When you come up there, there'll be a wind come around some of you and they're going to be signed to you. And you may not understand this, but it says you'll judge angels. You know how you'll judge them? You'll say, yes, I couldn't do this. And it happened supernaturally. And I didn't know it, but that angel was there doing it. You'll judge angels for their rewards. And so they really desire to look into what's going on with you and to help you do things that you can't do. So, I just ask that you take deep breaths and that you look. That looking, you look. That hearing, you hear. That smelling, you smell. That taste, you taste. And most, the, the thing I like the most when I go up is feelings. I feel exactly what Isaiah twenty nine eleven says. I feel loved. I feel that his thoughts towards me are for good. I'm trying to say that all five of your senses become golden. And you can, I, I've used it like this many times, like a hot loaf of bread. I show you a hot loaf of bread with your eyes and what do you see? Okay, I close your eyes and I say to you, I've got a hot loaf of bread in front of you. What do you see? I tear off a hot loaf of bread when your ears are closed and your eyes are closed and I put it under your nose. What do you see with your nose? You see a loaf of bread. I take off a piece and I put it in your mouth. And what do you see with your taste? Bread. If I lay that hot loaf of bread in your hand, what do you see? Bread. You can see with all five senses. The enemy can never shut down all five of your senses at once. So look, some of you will see things. Some of you may smell things. Some of you may taste gold taste and things like that in your mouth. And some of you may hear a spoken word to you. It's really time that you get these things for yourselves. He's told me recently, I want you to quit doing the miracles. I want you to quit feeding them fish. I want you to teach them to fish. So, this is the first place I want to take you. I want you to go up. I'm going to have you get up very shortly. And raise your hands. And I want you taking deep breaths. And the reason I'm having you take those deep breaths is so you won't pray. And you're going to go up. You're going to go give your daddy a visitation. Now, I'm going to tell you something that some people really get offended when I say this. But I don't care. <laughs> I was just talking to Chris. Forty years ago when I began to go up, I'd go up there and I'd see that white light and that beautiful throne and I'd crawl up in it and sit on my daddy's lap. Some of you that's never known your daddy before, get ready to know him and know him intimately. He, his lap is ready. Now some of you that may have hooks in you, old sins, old curses, things like that, when you go up, they're going to pull out, and you're going to go up. Those hooks are coming out, and going to make it free for you to go. Some of you are going to feel things that troubles your mind, and that's what the enemy has been trying to do, is steal a lot of your minds. You go up there, he can't get to you. He's not welcome up there. So, I'm going to have you do that, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to give you maybe five or ten minutes of you just 
intimately visiting with your brother and your daddy. So I've told you, you with all five of your senses, the thing I like the most there is the feelings of his presence and his peace. And if you've been learned to, been taught, you watch your feelings, wind's been blowing over you ever since I've been speaking. That's angel activity. So now if you'll stand up. Put your hands up. Put your head up. The reason I want your head put up so many of you are tried with rejection. There's no rejection here. They're just sons and daughters. Now take a deep breath. Come Holy Spirit. Good. You're going. Good. Good. Keep breathing. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out the old. Breathe in the new. Giving your daddy a visitation. You can do this as often as you choose and you can lead as many people to desire this. For this teaching I've given you, you can give it to whomever will. Now, take other breath. That's good. Good. Now, some of you ought to feel it coming up the back of your neck on the sides of your head. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Keep moving on, Holy Spirit. Good. 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 Spiritual activity is increasing. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Good. This is how you start your relationship with Him. This is how you can soak for hours in His presence. Thank you, Lord. Good. Depression has no place here. Some of you are being set free from depression. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, things that you're seeing, I don't have time to interpret for all of you. But what you're seeing, there is an interpretation. Search it out in Scripture. It'll show you what he's talking about. Good. 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 For you see, it's the Holy Spirit in your spirit that takes you there. And this is where you were born again to live here on earth. In that heavenly realm. Well, this is how you go. I encourage you to go often. If the enemy will let you sleep at night, then leave and go up and visit your daddy. He won't be there. Thank you, Lord. Well, I've showed you the principle of going there. You can go as often as you choose now. Would you sit down? I want to take you another step. I have did this probably for 30 years, taking entire churches up. I have here before, too. But I've never been able to take what's in you out. 
I've understood it, but I've never had permission to teach it before. There's a power in you that's right here. The kingdom of God is in you right here. Would you share the scriptures, Bunny? Yeah, Isaiah 12, 3. Isaiah 12, 3. Therefore, with joy will you draw water from the wells of salvation. For many years, I've been able to draw waters right out of here and impart it to one another. Now it's your time. It's time that you begin to draw right here, right out of your spirit man, your conscience, in tune with the Holy Spirit and the wisdom of the ages, drawing it right up out of you and imparting it to one another. Every born again person can do this. For out of here is going to flow the river of life. Rivers will flow out of you. So, watch me. Now I want you to stand up and begin to draw that water out of you. Put your hands up. Pull, pull that water right out of your spirit. Pull. That's it. Pull. Pull. That's right. Pull it right up. The power of God is right there already within you. This is how you release it. You yeah, say so the laughter and everything, that's part of it. It's part of the joy. Now, I want to take you another step. Uh, men, uh, turn towards some of the men and women, to sort of some of the women. And I want you to begin to pull out of your inmost being into them. And let them receive from you. Yeah, just pull it up. For this is a power. By the way, when you do this, you'll get a word of knowledge and whatever is needed, bring it out. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just pull that water up. That's the anointing. And this also has great joy in it. And everything that pulled up out of you will live. What you touch will live. 